Hi guys, my name is Mikkel. Welcome to Pretty Healthy, where we make your favorite indulgent dishes, but healthier. Today is all about the breakfast sandwich. It's gonna have vegetables, it's gonna be tasty, and there's gonna be no bread. No bread? How do you have a sandwich with no bread? I'll show you how to have a sandwich with no bread. I do have a sous chef that's gonna help me out with that. His name is Freddy, Frederick, Fred, whatever you wanna call him. He's a great help, and we're just gonna jump right into it. What do you say? Let's do it. So yes, this is a sandwich, and no, there's not bread. How? With vegetables and potatoes. Super cool, right? We're using sweet potatoes as one of our main ingredients. Sweet potatoes are really high in vitamin A, which helps with your eyesight, but also helps your immune system. So during cold and flu season, definitely stock up on this. It'll keep you from getting sick. So we're just going to continue grating this as so. Look at how beautiful this color is. All right, Frederick, can you grate the rest of this for me and I can show them what the ingredients are? Thank you, Frederick. Let's go check out the ingredients. For the hash browns, we have a russet potato, sweet potato, zucchini, yellow squash, white onion, garlic, potato starch, and for some filling options, we have an avocado, arugula, and sun-dried tomatoes in oil. So you saw the rest of the ingredients. All of our veggies are gonna go in here. All of our vegetables have different benefits to them. For example, our zucchini is high in vitamin B, which gives you natural energy. The onions are high in chromium, which regulates blood sugar and adds a great flavor. We are going to mix in the remainder of our ingredients. We have our potato starch that's gonna hold it together. Garlic for flavor, a pinch of pepper, and a pinch of salt. Maybe two pinches of salt. We're gonna give that a good mix. You're really gonna wanna make sure that that starch is distributed throughout the whole thing because that makes all the difference in the world for holding this together. And we want this to hold together to be able to be a sandwich. Now what we're gonna do is spoon a hefty amount of this into a greased waffle iron and it's gonna sit for a little bit. So, so this is gonna really cook down. You're gonna have to spoon a little more than you think you need. Listen to that sizzle. And once this is evenly dispersed, go ahead and close it on up. So in order to make sure that these vegetables are completely tender and cooked through, it's gonna take about 25 minutes. So while we wait, I want you to check out today's pretty healthy tip. Today's healthy tip, we're talking about my favorite fruit, avocados. You already know that they're a great source of healthy fats, but did you know that an avocado has more potassium than a banana? Isn't that crazy? Also, a serving of avocado has almost 40% of your daily needed fiber. They're so much healthier than you even realize, and they're so easy to incorporate into your everyday life. Yeah, guacamole is great, but they can also be added to smoothies, or one thing I love to do is make avocado chocolate mousse. You should look it up, and you should give it a try. Frederick, look what we did. It's so beautiful. I'm just gonna very carefully take this out. Okay, I'm gonna cut this into four slices of bread. We're gonna make two sandwiches, one for me, one for old Freddy over here. I'm gonna make mine vegan. I'm gonna start with some arugula on both of them. Incorporating greens, it's what I do. Plus, I'm obsessed with arugula. The little peppery flavor, so good. Another thing I'm obsessed with is sun-dried tomatoes. And then on each of these, I'm also going to add some avocado. And then for old Freddy over here, I'm gonna give him an egg. This is a breakfast sandwich after all. One, two. I don't know if you've ever seen a vegetable hash brown waffle sandwich before, but here you go. I'm gonna give it a try. That's for you. What I love about this is the caramelized onion that you taste throughout and the little bit of sweetness from the sweet potato. So good. Once you try this, you won't even want bread anymore. Trust me. Frederick and I haven't had breakfast yet, so we're gonna go eat all of these and we'll see you next time.